Yeah. Yo, it's a Sunday one take. It's a Sunday one take. I gotta do a Sunday one take, guys. Here at like how all my favorite people in the world. Hey Baker, how's it going? Howdy. How was your first time at Lake Park? It was one of my favorite experiences of all time. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I think, I think it's Mama the dream. Baker, Mama Baker's gonna need to come. So right now we're on this ginormous houseboat. We're here in Antelope Point Marina. How was your first time at Lake Powell? So much fun. Was I had the best time? time, yeah. How was your time at Kenna? Lit. At Powell? It was lit. lit this is Mama Orr. She makes absolutely everything happen. She's the best person on the planet tied with her husband who is off running people up to their cars because we're leaving. It's a sad day. Anytime you leave Lake Powell, you have these feelings that you're like super, super sad. So Leah, how was your time? It was great. It was good? Out of 10, what do you give it? 10. It was 10? Yeah, 10 every time. How much do you love your Grammy for just making this the most spectacular time ever? Thumbs up. <laughs> do you know what I love? Grammy still has you on her answering machine. I love that. Hi, this is my Grammy's phone. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys what it's look like. What it looks like upstairs. So this is a five bedroom houseboat. Well, it's like yeah, five bedrooms basically. Two baths up here. Got a TV that folds down. This is where we'd hang out, and then on top, people were stunting because we had the Weber State cheerleaders or two of them with us. Probably one of the best stunting people in the world. And because it's a Sunday one take, I'm talking to you guys about the 22 things happy people do differently. Last week was the first one. Today, week two. Um, and again, I wanted to do this as a way to just remind myself, to get myself talking about things that, you know, this list, which I always link in the description, is all about creating habits that will put you into a better state of mind. It'll get you appreciating things. It'll get you, you know, last week was all about not holding a grudge. We'll link. It gnaws at you. You might work with somebody that you, you know, you don't necessarily like, but you need a work relationship with. So you have to forgive. You have to let go. A grudge, we'll link that video, but it's all about how when you hold grudges, it really is affecting you. This week is surrounding yourself with people that you want to be like. So surrounding yourself with friends, good friends and good people that are going to lift you up. People that will make sure you are being the best version of yourself, but ultimately um, make you feel happy. So surrounding yourself, there's a, there's a quote that says you're the culmination of the five people you hang out with most. And I want you to stop and think about that for a section. second. The five people you hang around with most. Think about those people in your life. Even maybe name them. And think about what each person brings to your life. And are they making your life, are they enhancing it? Are they, are they giving as much as they're taking? Are they making sure that they're, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be your best self? Or is it something that maybe needs some changing? You need to rearrange maybe your friends and family members. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's not even on. Oh, it's still on, there we go. Hi there, tater bug. Hey there, Taylor Bug. <laughs> oh, Taylor's the Golden State fan. He's that person that's... <sighs> There's always one in the group. But yeah, so this week, happy people make sure that they surround themselves with people that are going to uplift them, that are going to make sure that they are, I guess, being the best versions of themselves. So I think that's one thing that, in my life, I've had a lot of good people around me. People like the Oars. People like my, my family, I'm one of seven, and they'll call me out if I'm not acting how I want to, how I think I should. They, they know me well enough to know my, my roles and goals and morals. Um, and I think that this day and age, with social media, you have to take that into consideration too. Who are you following? Who are you surrounding yourself with in the cyberspace? What are you viewing every day? Who are you becoming like because you're seeing their posts every single day? Think about that, because I think too often we, you know, we get the day-to-day, -day, the person-to-person -person interaction, but nowadays we get a lot of online interaction that shapes how we think, that forms our opinions. Are those people changing you for the better or changing you for the worst? If you want to be happy, make sure that you're following people that are positive, that are going to bring, that are going to enhance your life. So, anyhow, that 
is it pretty much here from Gorgeous Lake Powell. Oh, they are playing it! The people next to us were crazy University of Utah fans, and I'm pretty sure this is the University of Utah fight song. Who am I, sir? Utah man am I? Just take a look. We're gonna come up to the top here. This is Nicole. She was killing it. Where's your bike at? Oh, it's right there. It's a gorgeous bike. So this is where we're now three stories up. There's the Utah fans right there. This is Lake Powell. So next week, next Thursday, our uh, Lake Powell video goes up and you guys will get to see what this place is really like. One of the most spectacular places on earth. Just so grateful to get to be here and again, having friends that when I'm out here, I leave feeling better. I leave feeling recharged and ready to tackle the world. <sighs> Pretty amazing. Pretty special place. Oh, next time, we need to bring firewood because that would be epic. There's our boat right down there. Hi, boat. This is where we slept every night because we had about huh, 28 people. So Alec, Morgan, myself, and a few others slept up here underneath the stars and it was just what I needed. I have to go to LA tomorrow for some meetings and this was a definite good recharge. So hopefully, uh, you know, that was a, a pretty quick one. Surround yourself with people that uh, make you better. They're gonna help you achieve what you want to achieve in life. And if they're not doing that, trim the fat. Trim the fat. You don't want to have negative people in your life. Negative people bring more negative thoughts, bring negative actions. So I'm off, headed to LA. Thanks guys.